Oh, hey, Programming 11. Uh, we are now going to be doing some experiments. It'll be pretty interesting to try this out to see what else we can do with mouse X and mouse Y. So what I'd like to do is put these variab this built-in variable uh, for mouse coordinates in other places, in other arguments. So I'm going to return the ellipse to be, oops, sorry, 300, 300, the center of the screen. And I just want to confirm that that is correct. Yep, there it is, our very, very boring animation. Remember, this isn't really animated, although it's trying its best, because these numbers are, are locked in place. They're never changing. So now, instead of changing the center, I'm going to change this. What if we put mouse X and mouse Y in the width and height? So now the mouse's coordinates will be converted into width and height of our circle. It'll still be a 300, 300, but as we move the mouse around, the width and height will change. So let's check this out. So if I'm all the way in the corner, that's zero, zero, right? So our width and height will be zero. But as I move, the circle will actually get bigger. I can control the width with the X by going left and right. And I can control the Y, the height by going up and down. And I can control both of them at the same time with diagonal movement. So that's pretty fun, hey? <laughs> you can't help but make sound effects. I feel like this could be a mouth talking or something uh, too fun. So, oops, I uh, stopped that. Okay, so that's one cool place to put it. Where else can we put this? What if I said, oh, we're not, oh, I don't know what happened to my computer. <laughs> uh, something bizarre is happening. Erg. Okay, I think the touch screen was, uh, was at fault. So let's get back to it. So let's uh, change it now. Instead of 200, 200, uh, instead of mouse X, mouse Y, what if we put it in this argument? Wah! Mouse, we'll say mouse X. So now the shade of gray that is our background is going to be controlled by our mouse. Let's run it. So it's black right now because mouse X is zero. As we go across, it's going to get whiter. Oh, what? And all of a sudden, it turns blue. <laughs> so wild. What's happening here? Well, this point where it gets right here, that's where it's white. That is the X coordinate 255. But notice that our, our whole screen is 600 wide, right? So if we go beyond uh, 255, then unexpected things start happening. So once we get to like 300, 400, 500, 600, I guess this starts breaking down, and for whatever reason, we start getting blue. That wasn't really expected, though, was it? But that's okay. It's just kind of an interesting thing that's going on. So there's a mouse X. Uh, what if we did color? What if I put in, you know, the RGB uh, stuff? So now mouse X is going to control our red. So now we have kind of a shade of red. It looks like it just sort of tops out and around 255, whatever X is 255. Uh, maybe we could use the mouse Y to control our uh, green. Red, green, blue, yeah, <laughs> green. So now up and down can control green, and left and right can control red. So we can get, like, some yellow, green, orange colors as we move around. Wild, right? Pretty fun. Now, these aren't super calibrated for anything because... You know, it might be nice to make it go all the way to the end. We'll learn how to do that later on. Let's just have some more fun. Uh, let's set the background to uh, maybe white background. What if we added in a stroke weight? I'll try to bring the screen uh, down a bit. So just in case you can't see it. So I'm going to put uh, stroke weight... And I'm going to put in mouse X. Oh, man, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be a little too crazy. So right now it's zero, but as I move the X, the circle gets fatter and fatter. And then skinnier as I move it back and forth. It's going to increase in size. It looks like it eventually gets so big it actually goes around the other way, which is uh, pretty wild. Uh, I didn't expect that to happen. Um, and you could have some fun with that. Whoa. Uh, what else can we do? Well, we could do, um, maybe I'll stick that back to one. We could do a fill function. It's kind of like the background, right? Um, we can put in mouse X, and then our ellipse is the thing that's going to change color. 
And again, it tops out at 255. So when we get to 255, it's just, you know, maximum. I'm not sure why it's not going into blue like the other one did, but, you know, it's kind of fun uh, to do. Get some cool color changing going on. Wowzers. <laughs> Lots of fun. So as you can see, these built-in variables can be placed in all sorts of different arguments for you to command, you know, control with the mouse. Uh, some fun things. So we're going to stop there just as uh, a good place to say, you know, this video is done. In our next video, you're going to be seeing how we can make our own variables. Because it's great to control things with the mouse, but what if we just wanted something to steadily move across the screen without us using the mouse to do it? Like if we just wanted a, you know, a target to move across the screen or, um, you know, just the ellipse to go up and down, that kind of stuff. So we'll be taking a look at that uh, in our next video. Thanks everybody.